YouTube, 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 what is good? It is your boy, July Glow. Now look, this is a new series I'm going to start, and I'm going to call it my King of Court recap, man. So after every King of Court Saturday, you know, the video could drop on Sundays and Mondays, or even the same day. It probably won't drop the same day as King of Court, but either Sunday or Monday is going to be my recap video on mostly like you'll see if I got any highlights. I'll show some clips of me hooping you know how the team is looking what i think needs to be changed with my team so i can have a better score the next week if i fold or if i don't fold stuff like that you know like i said just a whole recap on what happened out of the four hours if i made it to the four hours of playing and king of the court now this is the first episode of it and funny enough i ended up folding now when i say I ended up folding i ended up folding as in something more different you see how it says right there i'm in tier five and it says qualify right so look here was my plan this weekend i had no idea once king of court starts your games to qualify will not count until king of court is over so my thought process was i was going to win my games when king of court started so i was going to get five quick wins and then after I was done, I was going to go play King of Court. So like the first hour, I didn't really care about the first hour. But turns out you can't do that. So make sure you guys qualify for King of Court before it starts. Which you can see that I'm already qualified ready for the next Saturday. So based off of that, you guys will just see clips of me playing Showdown. <laughs> when i was about to qualify or the games i played on saturday because i did play a bunch of showdown games on saturday because of the double xp but before we get into the clips i can just go based off of what you know what really happens and what needs to go on with my team and stuff like that you know we can go on for from position to position some positions will be talked about more than others but when it comes to the point guard position Realistically, my starting point guard, I don't have to really do anything too crazy with Markel, folks. It's all just based off of what I'm playing against. Now, some games, I end up, I'll just be playing against, if I play against somebody that doesn't have any type of defensive point guard, guard in Markel, folks, I really, the game really becomes real easy for me. I don't have to really do too much because Markel, folks, can just run past anybody that has no defense on him because he has a 90... A 95 speed with ball. Let's see what we're working with. He has a 95 speed and a 95 speed with ball. So he's really just sliding past people really with a 94 ball handling. He has and he has lightning launch on Hall of Fame. So usually when I don't usually when somebody's not a defensive player on him, I don't really have to worry about too much. I just run past the person or I could just drive and kick things like that. One thing is I really want to work on with Markel folks the most is when he has to play a play against somebody that has a little bit of defense on him and I want to get some more screen work with him to fade to his opposite dominant hand because his left I mean his left hand has a nice little fade. The animation is a little slow or looks slow but since I'm on jump I can I don't have to hold square that long but the animation does look slow on my screen so sometimes I do get slightly late with it when I'm shooting it. But his wide open catch and shoot with the rhythm stick, I'd be green it more than actually I'd probably green it like 70% now that I think about it, but I barely shoot it. So it's like 70, 75%, but I barely shoot it. But I have greened a lot of it with his wide open catch and shoots. Now creating off the snatchback with him, don't really do that too much because it's like that's a huge load up animation with his jump shot. So that's what I won't do. Shooting guard starting T Mac. Everybody has T Mac. It's the end of season. I know how everybody feels about T Mac. Biggest thing about T Mac is that I can't rhythm shoot with him, so I'm automatically 50 with him. And it hurts my soul with a passion because it's T Mac. You know, he's has a 94 three pointer with, let's see, Dead Eye and Limitless, Shifty Shooter, all on Hall of Fame. You feel me? Let's see, there's not a lot of shooting bats in the game, so I'm not gonna say it just scrolls. Set shots, presses is gold. You feel know I me? Mean? So it's just like I wanna hit with him because he has such 
a high shooting at the three pointer and such a high shooting at the mid range with a 95. Even has an 84 post fade, and then he has a pretty good post fade animation. But T Mac, he's real simple, really as well. His dunking is through the roof. You know, let's see, he has a a 97 driving dunk with Poser as a Hall of Fame. His dunking is through the roof. I did give him lightning lines to get there and strong handles to help him out with stuff like that. It's nothing too crazy. I feel like T-Mac with the screen, his fade animation isn't all that. I'm not going to lie. It's not all that, but it's okay. If I get the open, I'm pretty sure I would be fine to fade with the midi. Now, fading in the corners both sides isn't bad as well. Some people just actually look at you and see if you can hit it, so that's okay. But his catch and shoot, if I really, really am focused, I will actually hit a lot with him. But since I'm so used to shooting with rhythms, with, uh, rhythm shooting, so sometimes when I shoot with T-Mac, it's just more like a, eh. Usually I hit all their shots in the corner though, but like anything else if I'm creating, it's not really like that. When it comes to his snatch back, I feel like the animation of him snatching back, creating space into getting in a jump shot isn't really that consistent, but it's okay when I do it as quick as I can. But if I'm trying to get a three with it, eh, I don't know how I really feel about it. But at least T-Mac finishing at the rim is just through the roof, and I and I love it. And T-Mac's defense, like, I don't know. This man be playing a lot of defense. I did give him some defensive badges, but he low-key, oh, he has a center for a block. So I, I, he gets a lot of blocks. So I was just, I didn't think it's a block. I thought about like a 60 or something. So center for a block is pretty good. 87 perm is not bad. And 72 is pretty good. Only 65, 62 on the rebounds, but he does get boards. He does get rebound animations. It could be because of his verse. His verse is 98, and I do believe that I gave him a rebound chaser. I don't know what it's on, but I do believe I gave him a rebound chaser. I know I gave it to him gold. That's outrageous if I gave it to him gold. If I gave it to him gold, that is actually crazy. I don't see it. That's weird. I swear I gave him a rebound chaser. If I didn't give, I didn't give him a rebound chaser, that means I gave it to Paul George. Okay. So I may give T-Mac rebound chase. I thought I gave it to him. I really did. I don't think I have any. Oh, I made a decision not to give it to him. Okay, I made a decision not to give it to him. I gave him bell out. I gave him, let's see. We're going to put up his paint patroller. That's interesting. I thought I gave him rebound chase. I'm going to be honest with y'all. You know, this is very important for the defensive end. I love it. Bell out. I don't know, man. I feel like I don't be bailing out enough for him to have it, but we're really going to keep that on for safekeeping, okay? But y'all know how T-Mac get down and things like that. Now, Paul George. Starting small for Paul George. The only problem I have with Paul George is that I feel like I'm not giving him enough touches. Like I, And that's why, like, when it comes to uh, uh, constantly get a ball to your point guard, and then who else can get the ball next is really the shooting guard. t might actually doesn't touch it that much as well. But it's like Paul, Paul George is too good for how many touches like he won't get sometimes. Some games, I will give him the ball and we just start to get the work. I was, but there's not really nothing going on with Paul George for real when it comes to like any flaws. Jump shot's amazing with square and with the right stick. He can finish at the rim so well. He gets open with his step back, step back into the rhythm shooting, just absolutely amazing. He plays in super, super, super insane defense. It's just, he got a, it's a lot. He's like an A player, like an A, 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 yeah, yes. I don't want to say A plus, cause not, nobody's perfect, but he's, he's, he's an A player. And the only problem I'll say uh, Paul George has really, is just his, I guess I could say his speed with ball. Yeah, I see, look, he has an 85 speed with ball. He's not really sliding into the room, if I'm going to be honest. 68, 67 on the rebounds. 88 on the steal. 78 on the block. He has a lot of blocks, too. 82 interior, 90 perimeter. But it's like, he has a defensive badges, man. He got polarizer. He also have off-ball pass, interceptor, and on-ball menace hop. On-ball menace hop makes him absolutely outrageous. Dead-eye and, limit, dead and limitless are on gold and but I, I need some of these gold badges to be half. I did give him a rebound chaser. And he does have lightning launch. Go ahead and put this up as well. You need that brick wall, man. Need that brick wall, man. Give him this unpluckable. Because he looks like he be losing the ball sometimes. So putting that unpluckable is pretty good. He gets one more badge slot. One more badge slot. I don't know. I can see that I don't know what to give him for his last badge slot. He's 6, 9, 6, 8. Oh, yeah. He's 6, 8. So many... Marksman isn't really something I would think about putting on him. I could put Dimer on him, or I could put Box Out Beast on him. 
box out beast or diamond just because we can have a gold we're going to give him box out beast the paul george is just absolutely just absolutely amazing for me the only thing is i gotta make sure he gets more touches that's why i'm like wanting him to be on my bench maybe or something like that but like he would be my small four off my bench so it's like is there really anything going on but he's great and i'm glad to get gave me to gave me paul george now Jawan howard look ain't nothing really going on like i need a new power for it that's that's really what it is i need a new power for it but i need one that can just i just need a three and d person nothing more nothing less i really just need some i really just need someone strong and down low that can get me rebounds and that can shoot a three and he they can have you know 2k lugging people 85 driving dunk see Jawan got 85 driving dunk he also has a 67 three-pointer. I hit with it because he has a good jump shot with the rhythm shooting. But eh, we don't really got to get too much into that. But look, here's the thing. 75, 75, 79, 79. That is not good enough to be playing the four. I need that to be higher. I need that to be just way, way, way higher than what it is. You know, at the beginning of the season, it worked out. But towards the end, all these diamond cards have dropped. You got even amateurs out playing them. And you got pink diamonds all over. Like, I played a game. It was just crazy. I won, but he had Shaq at his five and Kareem at his four. Like, come on now. If he didn't play like a complete, like, I don't know, idiot, we can just go off with that. He just was terrible. I never would have won. I was shooting well that game, but it's just like, come on. I need something. I need something better than this, man. 72s on the rebounds. Like, it's just not good enough. Like, I just, I need, I need something. I need something here. And Tim Duncan is not who I want here because you need somebody that can shoot at the four. Somebody, you can, your five can end up not shooting, but your four got to shoot. I mean, Juwan, he played, he did what he needed to do for me, but his time is up, man. We just got to leave it at that, bro. His time is up. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. His time just up. Now, Ronnie, I praise him a ton. I praise him through the roof. The only thing about Ronnie is that his jumper is absolutely atrocious. I agree with it, but still, like that, like that jump shot is ridiculous. But Ronnie is really, really good, and I, I feel like I don't use him to his full potential. I feel like when I, when I was playing over the weekend, how many like post fades I started hitting with him randomly when I was really go for it. I was like, man, I really don't use him to his full potential. His standing dunk animation is absolutely amazing. His rebound animations online for some reason. When I play Dom, he struggles against the AI. But online, he goes absolutely insane. But he's only 6'11". You know, he can only do so much. But he absolutely goes crazy when it comes to that. Screens, some 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 games, he goes absolutely crazy with them. But look at that. He has his post is super high in the 94s. He got an 86 mid-range. He has a 73 point. I always forget it's a 70. I hit so much with it. It's not that hard to shoot with the stick. So you can shoot with, like, lower overalls and stuff. But 95 standard dunk, so that's why he got like crazy standard dunk animations. He's not really in a lot of situations where he has to get a driving dunk. His ball handling is really high, so I don't really do too much with that. But I do take some catch and step backs, things like that. Good pass accuracy, you gotta love that. 89 in the block, he does get a lot of blocks. 70 steals, he actually gets more steals than what you would think. 74 on the perimeter, that's decent. And then an 88 interior, which I wish, I would say for your center. You would want your interior to be like at least like a 92, 93. Now 92, 92 on the rebound, so he does get a lot of boards. 83 on the speed, so that's just absolutely amazing for him. 79 speed with ball, so that's also helps him as well. 74 on the agility, so that's also great. Now he only has an 87 vertical, and I couldn't really tell based on how high he really jumps, but you know that's fine. And he has a 92 strength. Now I would say I would want his strength to be a 95, just just based off of what happens on the court or what i have seen from him brick walls half is probably why he sets such good screens and then he has the three post badges that are in the game and then paint patrol obviously goes well with him rise up aerial and pole driver helps him dunk super super well and then the rest is history of how i don't think he has any shooting badges though but the rest is history oh no no hold on he has set shot specialist we will force his bronze probably should put that up higher on him i don't think i'll do anything else like i don't think i would add anything else to him because he does everything that he needs to do for me so well nope it looks like i'm not putting that on him i mean maybe versatile vision to throw some lobs and stuff like that maybe even pole drives are all nine doing all that now this this is fine 
give him, give him this layup. That is fine. Lightning Lunch, no. Off bar press. I think off bar press would be valid to put on him too. He doesn't really get backdoor. It's not really backdoors don't really go too crazy this year. But he does his job and I love him, man. Obviously, if someone else comes around that's a little bit taller that can do what he do with a better jump shot, he will take his spot. But Ronnie played absolutely amazing. Now that is my starting five that's you know that's gonna be playing pretty well for me for a while. Now with the bench. We don't have to go into in depth with these cards. I can tell y'all these super, super quick. Campbell, he does his job. He, he's able to shoot for me, things like that. But he just got out here, man. You know, he's going to run into like, you know, I give me another big. That's how well he was playing for me. John Collins, he's really a filler card. Praying for 2K just to give me a power for it that I can just start so like Jawan Howard can come in and take this spot. Kawhi, realistically, also a filler card. And it's like, how well I was shooting with Kawhi at the beginning of the year when the season first started is why he's sitting here. But I think like it's it's here. Like I think it's here. It's 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 tough. It's real tough because Kawhi, like I thought Kawhi had on ball minutes silver. I thought he had on ball minutes silver. But I don't think but he doesn't. He has his bronze. So it makes me like not want to use him anymore. And it's like he has an eighty six perimeter defense compared to and, and 80 and his defense is better than vince carter you know his defense is better than vince carter and he he has defensive badges more than vince carter vince carter has more offense than him and it's just like i guess it's like i guess i can put Kawhi in the only reason i don't have tatum in over Kawhi is because i really can't hit with tatum that's just the truth i can't really hit with him i sh i green a lot with, with Kawhi in the corner like Vince Carter, the only reason Vince Carter isn't in is because how well uh, Jalen Brunson and Zach Levine can get open. And it's just like, okay, now nah, I need some defense. So that's where Kawhi comes in. Kawhi can get defense, I mean, get some stops when it's, he needs to. He can get some of those boards because his wingspan is long and things like that. When it comes to Jalen Brunson and Zach Levine, there's not really much to say about these cards. They do what they need to do when they come in. Jalen Brunson can get me a, at least give me nine points quick. He can, I'm serious. He can get me nine points quick. Like he ended the third quarter with like between nine and with like three assists and like Vince, Zach Levine giving me like 12 points, 11 points. Like that's crazy. Like they coming in and they giving me buckets. Zach Levine got the snatch back that everybody using. Part y'all know what that is. He's finishing at the rim. I gave him half polarizer. I gave him half polarizer and I gave him a lightning launch. I gave both of them lightning launch. And I think I gave Zach Levine strong handles too. Yep. Gave him strong handles and I gave him ankle sash and silver. So it's just like, you know, Zach Levine's here to really stay. I doubt, unless I just get some crazy like shooting guards coming in. But Zach Levine, he's a, he's a bucket getter, man. So he's here to really stay. But that's the team, you know. They did pretty well playing this weekend. Now, since I talked so much throughout this one, I don't have to really put, I won't put any clips in because they were just showdown clips. It wasn't uh, King of the Court clips, but I'm pretty sure in the next recap of my King of the Court, it will be a little bit shorter. I think it will be a little bit shorter, but it's been your boy July Glow, man. If you're new here, like, comment, and subscribe. We're on the road to 2K, man. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. And catch you in the next one.